nothing in this process is easy. Nothing in terms of going and living on the moon or Mars is going to be easy. The trip to Mars will take more than three years, and astronauts need a way to grow crops on the long flight. New Jersey resident Shweta Tapa believes she may have the solution. All you need is an idea. The mechanical engineer is submitting her design to a contest called Growing Beyond Earth. Amy Paidoff is running the competition to get high schoolers, college students, and professionals to brainstorm ideas for NASA. They have to create a system that provide all the necessary um, needs of a plant, light, air, and water, and taking into consideration that in zero gravity, there is no up or down. Tapa wants to use 3D printing. Something like a honeycomb structure or some structure which can have maximum surface area. NASA scientists have already been able to grow a variety of leafy vegetables on the International Space Station in a facility called the Veggie System. And that's an open, very simple system. It just basically has a light cap and a fan to blow air across the top of the, the leaves of the plants. NASA senior project manager Raf Fritchie explains astronauts can't rely on prepackaged food because they start to lose key nutrients after three years. You might ask, why not take vitamins? Well, just like on Earth, he says those have a shelf life too, and relying on supplements isn't a healthy diet, making the need to grow crops essential. And things like peppers are considered fruiting crops, and that's actually the first fruiting crop we're going to try to grow. There are many challenges, like the radiation on Mars, but the biggest one is figuring out how to get water and air to the roots in the right amount. If you think of a, a ball of water floating in space and the plant root is immersed in that ball of water, the plant root's going to think it's drowning. And you might have another root maybe a couple of inches away that's not in that ball of water, and that's going to have no water at all, in which case it's basically just not getting any liquid or any nutrients. So what we try to do is to come up with approaches that will kind of balance that distribution of water and air. Fifteen designs from the competition will be selected to move to the next round. More than anything, it's a way to inspire the next generation to think about the future. But Chueda Tapa hopes her idea catches the attention of NASA. Because there's like so many people participating. May the best win, but you know, you always have to give it your best shots. For NJTV News, I'm Leah Mishkin.